What is the metaverse? Is this the next stage in the development of computer technology? How can Meta make it as easy and convenient for people as possible? And how the hell do you get into the metaverse? These questions will be answered in this video. Buckle up, put on your space helmets and take off. What is the metaverse? When I first heard this word, I thought scientists had discovered a new galaxy. Facebook has become Meta, and their VR headset has become MetaQuest. Game publishers aim to create their own metaverse and come into conflict with those who disagree. Even Microsoft, in the release of their biggest deal of recent years, the purchase of Activision, mentions the metaverse. The main feature of the metaverse is the erasure of boundaries. Websites on the internet, social networks, instant messengers, games, applications. Websites on the internet, social networks, instant messengers, games, applications will merge into one big virtual world, and this virtual world itself will become a continuation of the real one. In fact, the metaverse is a platform. The Disney amusement park can be called a metaverse, just like the federal chain of supermarkets that sell only products of their own production on their own land, in their own real estate. Many companies jump over each other, showing their own visions of the metaverse. They are often different and not always finished as a coherent and understandable product, but their essence and purpose can be understood even now. This is what I propose to do. Metaverses are often confused with crossovers and multiverses. In fact, all these are its constituent parts. I suggest you understand this chain and the difference between one another. This will greatly help you to define in your head what the metaverse is. Mark Zuckerberg claims that this is a new internet space that can become a fully-fledged alternative to real life. In it, people will be able to communicate, have fun, work, in general, fully live. Early activities fit into this concept. The company is actively developing VR. This fall, she introduced mixed reality glasses. Earlier, the corporation showed a prototype of a virtual interview, where its participants are not only displayed in a Zoom window, but also technologies imitate the real world, while the physical world meeting takes place remotely. There is no exact origin for the concept of the metaverse. The most popular, the metaverse, originated from the novel Avalanche by Neil Stevenson. By this definition, the writer understood the combination of conventional augmented and virtual reality in the online space, in exact resemblance to what Facebook offers. According to Stevenson's novel, in the metaverse, people can connect to it in the form of avatars and do everything they do in the real world, search for information, communicate, go shopping, and work. In reality, the metaverse is not one. There are an infinite number of them. Top companies, such as Nike, began to generate their worlds in it. Brands also create their projects in Fortnite from Epic Games. The company is positioning the game as a metaverse with an emphasis on social media features. The economy is already running in the metaverse. One investor made a record $4.28 million purchase of real estate in it. And this is not an isolated case. According to the development company Republic Realm, the cost of a virtual home in the metaverse may already exceed the cost of the same in reality. Companies and investors are already starting to acquire assets in it. One company purchased a land plot of millions of square meters and is now developing it so that gamers will buy houses from it in the future. She sells islands for $300,000. Why do we need a metaverse with 3D and virtual reality? The development of computer technology has led people into the information age. Production has shifted from the manipulation of atoms to the manipulation of numbers, bits of information. But the digital world exists as if in a separate reality behind the glass of the screen, which means a person cannot touch it. This makes it difficult to interact with information technology. Man is not evolutionarily adapted to look at the screen for several hours and manipulate virtual objects that behave quite differently from real objects. Imagine a garden with a fence. Such a garden is intellectual property integral, single, self-sufficient. Products are sold content that is grown here, separate from competitors and other gardens, and the problems, successes, and failures of its owner do not affect the neighbors in any way. Most entertainment content stays forever at this first level, and it has almost always been like this. Someone fails, someone succeeds, and there is no universal recipe. Using computers is not only difficult, but also harmful to your health. As many argue, you can get a whole bunch of diseases, from tunnel syndrome and poor posture to obesity and depression. Gadgets slow down the development of children. The metaverse will allow users to return to an evolutionary normal model of interaction. People will stop sitting in front of screens and begin to manipulate 3D objects, talk, and physically contact each other. In a three-dimensional environment, 
as their organisms have been used to doing over hundreds of thousands of years of their biological history. How do you get into the metaverse? Very simple. To do this, you need a helmet or glasses, a virtual reality, augmented or mixed reality, as well as an internet connection. The metaverses are available on three platforms, Horizons Workrooms by Facebook, in the Second Life Simulator, Roblox. For example, to install the first one, you need to purchase VR glasses from Meta to download the app. And this is not the whole list. The metaverse can still be used as a household name. It means any real-life simulator. For example, one is called Fortnite, which arranges concerts right in the game. A person is able to see, hear, feel, smell, taste, and feel his position in space. The metaverse can now partially cover only the first three senses, sight, hearing, and touch. To do this, you need to use helmets and glasses of virtual reality and augmented reality. Tactile gloves and suits, they don't work perfectly. Where is the ideal place then? We will leave this story for the next edition of What Is. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and I will be grateful for the coffee. The link is in the description because I still have long nights to study and prepare new interesting scenarios for you. Mm -hmm.